Working Across Cultures 1, Track 34. Many of you will travel to foreign countries on business or go to international conferences and sales fairs. Some of you may end up living and working in a foreign country. For all of you, cultural and social awareness will be important if you want to become effective communicators when you're abroad. Today, I'm going to look at saying no politely. Whenever you say yes to a request, you are doing so at a cost. That cost is usually your time. Sometimes you just have to say no. I remember two embarrassing occasions when I had to say no. One was in Finland, when a business friend invited me to a sauna. I just felt uncomfortable. The other was in Hungary, a country where it's sometimes OK to share private details. Someone asked me something rather personal. Again, I felt a bit uncomfortable. In the first part of my talk, I'm going to look at five tips for saying no politely. Firstly, pay attention. Listen carefully and make sure you don't say no before the other person has even finished making their request. Listen to the request with an open mind. Secondly, offer alternatives. You may even be able to recommend someone else who is more suitable. Thirdly, show sympathy if someone asks you to do something that you can't do. Show that you genuinely wanted to help. Next, be as clear as possible to avoid misunderstandings. Don't say maybe when you really mean no. And finally, avoid long reasons and excuses. Sometimes the less you say, the better. The times I've had to say no the most is when customers have wanted huge discounts. As long as you can say no politely with a smile, followed by a genuine I'm sorry, then you should be fine.